Hello, this is Ipo Swords, and today we are venturing back into the wonderful world of eBay fakes. Today we're going to be looking at a particularly insidious fake that has been artificially aged to look like it's much older than it really is. At first appearance, it may simply appear to be one simple Indian copy, perhaps a Dupika, or perhaps one of the Toledo Mato Swords. However, it goes a little bit deeper than that. Let's dissect this completely. The listing says this is a very rare antique, medieval 17th century flamberge, despite the fact that that's an obvious oxymoron, as the 17th century is well into the Renaissance. It's listed at $18,000. However, it is obviously not worth it because it's appeared here on my channel. A close look at the hilt will reveal that it uses what appears to be red nichrome wire on the grip, which of course did not exist in the time. It's a much stronger red than even copper would be. You'll also note that there is very fresh active rust that appears to be scuffed. This sort of active rust would have eaten a blade if it were really that old, much m quicker than, you know, 300, 400 years. You'll also note that the quillons are really weird. They simply seem to be welded on cones. Here I've found the actual swept hilt that they've used. It's from a Mato sword, and you can see that it features the same distinctive quillons, and that it has the exact same shape. It is on a slightly different angle between the two photos, so one of them shows all of the bars, whereas the first image shows fewer of the bars, as it doesn't show the ones at the back. However, if we superimpose them, you can see that the quillons fit perfectly, and as does the hook at the top of the knuckle bow. You'll also note that it has the same sort of front loop at the front, or port, and that it has the same general dimensions. The grip and pommel, however, come from a different sword. This is a Depeka offering, and it's their Depeka Flamberge. Flamberge, of course, meaning flame or flame bladed. And both the handle, pommel, and blade come from this sword. Notably, you can see the seam on the leather is executed the same way, and the nichrome wire is wrapped in the same way. If we move now onto the blades, you can see that they are, in fact, the same sword, but with a different hilt put on. This blade is a characteristic flamberge sort of blade that you'd expect to see on the time, but is, of course, not original. And if we superimpose them right next to each other, you will note that they are, in fact, the exact same blade, with the same number of waves in the exact same sort of spacing. There is a bit of distortion on the top image, which makes it seem wider than it is. Anyway, just a quick video for today showing another fraudulent sword on eBay. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider subscribing. Until next time, stay sharp.